friends, fellow beer geeks, I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and I have another beer review for you. Tonight's beer is a beer from Sprecher Brewing out of Glendale, Wisconsin. This is their Redhead Ale, uh, a red ale I would imagine. I brought this home from the brewery when I was there earlier this year, and I uh, wanted to go ahead and give it a try, so brought this back. I've never seen Sprecher in a 22-ounce bomber like this before. Um, so it was kind of interesting to see that, and I've never heard of this particular beer before or anything. Um, like I said, it was bought right at the brewery, so it might be just sort of a limited, small, small run thing they did. Um, I think maybe it was on tap in some places also. Um, but this comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, and as I said, it's in the 22-ounce bottle. And I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. Uh, it was it was around five or six dollars, I think. It wasn't it wasn't real expensive. So let's get this uh, cracked open, get it into a glass, and I'll let you know what I think of it. I was kind of wondering at first, uh, as you know, uh, most Sprecher beers have twist-offs, but this is a bomber, so I thought it was probably a pry-off, and it is, so let's go ahead and kick this into a glass. Okay, so as you see, this poured out kind of a more of a dark gold, um, light amberish color, definitely not red at all. Um, Maybe the redhead ale is just a name. Maybe it's not a red ale at all. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the aroma is like. Get almost a, sort of a, a tropical fruit sort of nose on it, um, like a like a uh, an IPA would be with uh, certain hops. A um, little bit malty, a little bit biscuity, bready. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste, and I'll let you know what I think. Cheers. Definitely getting a lot of grapefruit in the initial taste. Um, maybe a little bit of pineapple in there. Um, uh, the mouthfeel is is kind of a medium to light mouthfeel. Uh, it's not it's not real thick or heavy or anything. It's it's kind of on the light side for an ale. Very juicy, very refreshing. Like I said, uh, a lot of grapefruit, a little bit of of uh, Pineapple. Getting a little bit of malty sweetness at the end. Um, just a real light caramel in there. It is nicely carbonated, which I like. As you can see, I'm able to stir up a nice head on this beer again. Yeah, this has a really nice fresh hop uh, aroma and flavoring to it. I'm really liking that aspect of it. Mm. A light, sweet maltiness. Very refreshing. Um, it's well into the 90s here today, and it was a hot day, and this is a very nice, refreshing beer to enjoy this evening. And the more I get into this, the more I'm liking it, but not as something that's unique. It's just a good, refreshing beer that I would like to drink on a regular basis. Um, and this nice, fresh, hoppy flavor. Um, a nice, sort of light, caramelly maltiness to it. Um, just a good, all-around, enjoyable beer that's it's not too complex. It, doesn't require you to think. It's not going to totally, totally uh, destroy your your palate or anything. Um, just a really nice hoppy ale. Um, okay, I went and grabbed my tasting sheet from when I was at the brewery there. I thought maybe I had I had tried this while I was there. Um, they do have a couple different IPAs. Um, the one we we ones we did try were the there's a they're doing. Uh, Sprecher's doing a new, a new sort of spin-off um, with a different brand name called Chameleon Brewing, and they have a Rylicious IPA uh, that we did try, and then we did try the Sprecher uh, Double IPA as well. Um, 
but it was not this redhead. So this is my this is my first time having this one. Um, but like I said, I'm I'm very happy with it. I'm trying to decide how I want to rate this. Um, it's very good for what it is, but it's not it's not like a wow beer. Um, it's just a really nice, refreshing. Um, if I was out and about and uh, eating dinner somewhere and I wanted a beer and this was this was on tap, I would absolutely get this again. Um, I don't know if I would I would seek it out. Uh, I don't see I don't see Sprecher Bombers down here in Florida at all. Um, never seen anything but the 16 ounce bottles. So um, you know I I would I would have to sort of have this shipped to me and. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and rank this as an eight out of ten. It's a high eight. Uh, it's not. I can't quite give it a nine. That's more for beers that are just really, really, uh, just really starting to wow me with the flavors and the complexity. And this is just a really good, uh, a really good drinking beer. It's some, like I said, something I would have uh, with a meal in a heartbeat, no problem at all. Very tasty, certainly better than some of the other sort of run-of-the-mill IPAs that are out there. Um, and yeah, with that being said, uh, 8 out of 10 for the Sprecher Redhead Ale. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek. I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.